You can use the diagram disable structure to temporarily comment out a portion of your block diagram code. For the purpose of illustration, I have two inputs A and B. Those are the sliders over here. I take the sum and the product of these two values A and B and display them on the gauge indicators over here. I've wrapped the whole thing in a while loop and event structure combination to make the front panel interactive. So we see that the outputs, both the product and the sum, are both responsive to changes on the, on the input controls. Now suppose we wanted to disable this portion of the code. Find the diagram disable structure and simply wrap that around the portion of the block diagram of interest. You see that the code itself becomes grayed out and it is indicated as being disabled. We see that the product indicator needle does not move. So that portion of the block diagram is not executing. Now you can get back to normal operation this way. You can actually remove the structure entirely. Or I'd like to show you another way of doing this. Let me place the diagram to disable structure again. And now I'm going to right click on the frame and select enable this sub diagram. You'll notice now that there's actually two uh, sub panels. We have enabled and disabled. This is the disabled panel and it's empty. I have to be a little careful on this one. We see that the product indicator is still active. So that, that piece of code is still executing. And that's because it's in the sub panel that's called enabled. You can say, I want to enable. That basically flips the sense of enabled and disabled. So again, that original piece of code is no longer executing at this point. Now as to why you might actually want to do this, uh, there are times where you might be doing some debugging work. In particular, maybe you've got some portion of your block diagram that is not operating properly. And to illustrate that, I'm going to place a broken wire here. Now normally this VI would not execute, but we see that because that region of the, of the block diagram is disabled, then of course the rest of it works just fine. Again, we don't see the product being calculated. But the moment that this portion gets enabled, now we see the broken run arrow. So it's a handy way of sometimes temporarily disabling a portion of, of your block diagram code. 